It's a pedestrian zone. It's on a slight rise. There's staircases. And from here, you have a grand view looking back across the boat harbor to the beaches, to the row of elegant hotels lining the waterfront, and the film festival hall down below. A couple of small squares up here in the old town, and actually restaurants and cafes to go with it. Ice cream shops, referees. And then back down the hill and into the main shopping part of town, there are a couple of major lanes that form the... See, this is, uh, this is what happens when you become a film director. You end up going to live corn. <laughs> We shall continue now to the northwest passage of Khan. Yeah, to the right we have Khan. Hey, you won't believe it, would you? I know somebody who. Uh, I know somebody who lived in Antib. She was from Doncaster. This was his main home for about 20 years, and there's a Picasso Museum in the Rivaldi Palace in town. I don't believe it, would you? Picasso lived there for 20 years. And yet, more alleys for strolling. I finally caught up with him. Pablo Picasso. Restaurants and little tiny hotels. Notice these arches linking the buildings together to help them support each other, holding hands. Town Square with the main church. And we're heading into the little pedestrian shopping zone, but first we thought we'd take a little detour past the Grimaldi Palace, that's where the Picasso Museum is located, with the view of the Azure Seas, the Mediterranean, it was a little cloudy today, but... Yes, my second home. ...on the buildings as we stroll along, here's the old marketplace, the covered market, and before we go into the commercial shopping district... <coughs> I wish somebody would tell me how I'm going to have a house in Antib. Please tell me, I'd love to know. shame I was just really enjoying that as well I'm a bit tired today Carcassonne Lyon 
Oh, let's have another bash at that. Oh, let's have Carcassonne. Carcassonne. Well, there you have it. That was... Uh, Oh, I don't know. I'm too <laughs> Sunday afternoon, and I'm trying to do things. Yeah, it looks like Carcassonne's not coming. So <sighs> I just have to do. So. Oh, it is Carcassonne uh, walking tour. Oh, that kid. Ugh. Oh, it's all. Shit, it's all little kids. <laughs> Advertisement. Come on, carcass on, hurry up. The program brings us to one of the most magical places that we have ever been. It's the town of Carcassonne. Village in the south. It's an amazing place to visit, and in today's program, we're going to spend the entire hour showing you all of the great highlights of Carcassonne. We'll take you inside the castle, we'll bring you on walks through the streets, all with Hawaii Geographic Society's World Traveler, and I'll be taking you along as we arrive by taxi at our wonderful hotel, Hotel de la Cité. We'll show you more of that a little bit later in the program. That carcassonne's so huge. Yeah, I'm size on castle. All lit up by these amazing spotlights. You can see it during the daytime, and it's even more magical at nighttime. We're going to be showing you all the cycles of the day and tell you about the 2,000 year history of this amazing place. When you're visiting Carcassonne, you'll find it's very rewarding to stroll about on the lanes that are inside the village. It's not a large city by any means. The village itself is less than a mile long and about a half a mile wide, so it's easy to walk around inside the village and get a nice feeling for it. And there's enough there that you could easily spend a day or two days just wandering and looking at the shops and then taking a walk on the wall. Later in the program, we'll bring you on an extensive tour around these walls. From the top of the wall and from outside the walls give you a real good perspective. It's one of the defining qualities of this city created by the medieval walls around it. Now we're going to start out with a personal tour. This is Dennis Callan in Carcassonne, which is an amazing walled town in the southwest of France. It's a very picturesque spot, as you'll see. And we're very fortunate to have with us today Mr. Philippe. Things for me, I don't, I don't like southwest of France. I like I like the southeast. Of a, of a king or of a lord and 
if you watch in the far ground, you will see the new city of Carcassonne called the Bastille de Saint Louis. It was built in the 13th century by the king of France, Saint Louis. That's why the name Bastide, town, if you want, town Saint Louis. A little bit later in the program, we're going to bring you down into the new town and show you the main town square on market day and have a little walk about. It's said to be the new city compared to this medieval castle. And here you've got really nice views 